Starting a movement is a challenging concept. I'm not sure that many people would start thinking, I'm going to start a movement. In fact, you could ask, what is a movement in the Church of God? Uh, Jesus spoke about the Church in two different ways. He said, I will build my Church, that is the Universal Church. And then he said, if you have a problem with your brother, go and speak to him. Uh, if that doesn't resolve it, take two or three witnesses. If that doesn't resolve it, tell it to the church. So that's the local church, the church where you live. Those seem to me to be the two biblical concepts of the church. The universal church, known by him, scattered everywhere through the centuries, through the nations, my church. And then there's the local church. Now, as one who loves the church, you need to ask, what is a movement? Where, where's that in the Bible? And so I don't think many people start a movement. I think what can happen is that sometimes you might begin a church and then another church and then another church and suddenly you find something's beginning to happen. People are beginning to respond to initiative or you started another church and another church and gradually you, you sense something's on the move. When one asks, when should you do that, as a question, I think you only do that if you feel God has commissioned you to do that. You don't think, oh, I'll do it. I think I'll start a church movement. I think, uh, I can't see any biblical warrant for that. But if there's a real sense of commissioning, I believe that then God can begin to do something in terms of something that when you look back over your shoulder, hey, what's happened here? There's a whole number of churches that have come into being. When Wesley began to recover gospel preaching as a Church of England minister, he had no intention of leaving the Church of England. He stayed within the Church of England in, until his death. It was only after he died that Methodist churches started on the back of what he had done. I don't think many people think, I will start a movement. I think it's as you look back over your shoulder, something of what God does, a fresh touch, somebody like William Booth, who started the Salvation Army, there's a passion, there's an evangelistic zeal, there's a determination, as he had, to reach the poor of London. He just gave himself, and gradually people begin to be saved, to be trained, and suddenly you've got a movement that goes worldwide. But it started with one man's passion to reach the poor of London that no one else was reaching. So he's working out his own passion, he's giving himself to reach these people. Gradually a movement develops behind him. Training programs begin, uh, ideals, values begin to be formed and shaped. I think it has to be a commissioning from God. God owns it, it begins to happen.